Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. Uh, it's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. How you doing? Walk on. Hey, so today we have a very, very special guest. And um, really, you know, um, the young men that came through the, uh, the other day to visit Boss Talk, they talked so highly about him, talked about the charitable events that he he's uh, he, he looks after and just gave, you know, the, him the utmost respect, man. Check it, man. Clarence Renoir is here today, man. How are you doing today, sir? Great, and you? Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. Hey, nice, nice to, to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. So, so, so we what we do here? We got a podcast here. Uh, we're in Dallas, Texas, man, and and it's a, a new podcast. Uh, when the COVID came, we kind of slowed back, but we've started back up on interviewing, man, and it's just been a great, a great relationship builder. And I'm just so happy to have you here on the show. Oh, it's me, it's me. I'm I'm really happy because you know when you're talking about Texas, Dallas, I know. Uh, because my sons, I have two kids living there. Uh, they wow. are going to school. Yes, they are going to uh, to Baylor U University. Awesome! Shout out to Baylor University. Shout both out of Baylor. them, both of them are attending Baylor. Yes, yes. That's awesome. Now, one of them uh, has, I mean, finished with, with Baylor actually, but I have one, the, my 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 other son living there and studying. Have at you Baylor visited? University. Of course, yes, twice or awesome. more, more than that, but still, yes. That's good. That's good. So tell us a little <laughs> bit about yourself. Yeah, okay. My name is Clarence Renoir, as you said, but it's not easy to pronounce because, you know, Renoir is a French name. Right. Um, I'm, I'm a former journalist. I've been practicing journalist for more than 25 years. I worked for many radio stations in, in Haiti, um, actually one radio station in Haiti, but for the press also. I've, uh, I've worked some time for CNN, for CBS. They call me when they, uh, you know, when we have situation in Haiti like hurricane or coup d'etat in politics and so many things. And um, um, because as a French speaker, I'm not an English speaker, so I, I don't know if you can understand me very well, but... Yeah, you I speak have, English very well. Yeah, I'm trying, you know, to, trying to keep it up. It's not my language. I'm not practicing every day. But my French, my French is better, of course, because okay. I'm in a French country. You know, former right. colonies of I mean, French, and I also work for as journalist for many radio station and and, and TV uh, also in Europe. And How after that, I moved. And twenty five years. Wow. Twenty five. Yeah. yeah, my we first a... work was yeah. No, I was just saying Go we ahead. got a, a journalist coming on. Is that next week? Yes. And he's been doing it for twenty some years too. Yes. That's crazy, isn't that's, it? That's, that's awesome. a good. It's a good. It's a journey. So you can understand. That's a great journey. <laughs> and you can understand now. I'm, I'm, I'm the, I'm at the other side of the thing because now you are asking me questions. So exactly. I used to ask questions. <laughs> so now I have to answer. So I'm a teacher also because I, I teach at, at, at university in, 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 in Port-au-Prince, especially in Port-au-Prince, but I have, you know, so many years practicing, um, teaching for young, young kids in, 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 in Haiti, over, over, all over Haiti, meeting them at their places and teach them communications, you know, journalism, and uh, also commercial, how to make commercial. So, and... And I was also in politics. I, I, I still, I'm still in politics because I went for president in 2016 in, in, in Haiti. And awesome. I was, yes, I was in the fifth position after the election. I didn't run, I didn't run it, but you know, it was not a bad score. So to have, you know, to be for the first time uh, at the fifth position. But you have the experience of how to run and everything like that. So which helps you down the line, right? Yeah. That's I, good. I, I, mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Go ahead, please. I said, with you running before, that gives you experience for future. Of course, of course, because when you face, you know, difficulties, you know how to manage and to to move forward. So I hope I've learned a lot from from it. And actually, I wrote a book about my participation in the election in Haiti, and I called it. What's the name it, of the book? Uh, and take Haiti out of chaos. 
So, I, this is a French traduction, but en français, is uh, sortir Haïti du chaos. Take Haiti out of chaos. This is the, you know, the kind of transition. Because, you know, this country is in real chaos about political instability, crime, gangs, you know, and economical problems and everything, you know, social problems. Like, you know, now we are facing a, I mean, a very, I mean, hard time about kidnappings. We have a lot of kidnappings in Haiti, I mean, occurring every day. So this is a real mess, excuse me, the word, but it's, it's, it's a real mess. Let me ask in you, Haiti. is it only certain parts in Haiti? Because I know that people are still, tourists are still traveling to Haiti to um, vacation and to see the, the island. So uh, is yeah, it only certain parts that these things happen? Yes, but unfortunately now we don't have that much of tourist, tourists coming in Haiti because of the, because of the pandemic. You know, and the pandemic of the insecurity too. But those things are actually, I mean, insecurity, uh, kidnappings are happening in Port-au-Prince, uh, most of the, you know, in the capital, Port-au-Prince. So every day, it's an everyday situation. And I mean, for example, next, last week, they kidnapped four people inside a church. A pastor and, and a singer and a musician, they were officing and they kidnapped them, four of them in the church you know it's wow. kind of yeah it's very tough now and but see, what do you it, think but, what do you think um the solution is what do you think you know you or anyone else who's there can do to help this from happening yeah you know it from happening it's a it's a social and political and economical problem too you need to you need to deal with it on three faces i, I should say socially because you have a bunch of young men they are doing nothing they are not working they have no hope at all so they are using them you know some politicians some i mean business people they are using them in those activities you know gangs and they, they give them you know weapons right. and 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 munition ammunitions so they can practice those activities for them, not for them, for themselves, but for, for, the, for other people. But they cannot afford to buy guns for, you know, $15,000, $20,000 and have ammunition every time. But still they are using them. So you need to work on that to take the guns off them. So take them off the them street. Job. So by getting them jobs. Yes, by getting them job. Occupied yes. with other constructive, you know, money-making ventures, then Absolutely. they wouldn't have time to do those things. But let me ask you this, because as you could tell, I'm from Jamaica, and right now, because of the pandemic, it's, no one's hiring. It's hard to get a job right now. Mm -hmm. So at this moment, how is it in Haiti where that is concerned? How can you get a job during this time? There is no job at all. There is no job at all. It's, it's a big problem because first you have the uh, political problem, the political instability, because every three months, every year you have uh, you know, to deal with a... Uh, I mean, demonstration in the street, violent demonstration in the streets, that's block everything, economic, you know, activities. You, that, those things, bear, I mean, investors to come down to Haiti, uh, also as tourists, they cannot come because of the situation and security and stability. So you need to put the young at work. Uh, but, but how? But, but how? I by that create, you, that, but. you need to, you need to do two things. Uh, first, create a stability, a political stability, okay, okay. first. And you, if you create political stability, then you can have investors coming. You can have tourists coming. So you can create jobs for them, many jobs. They need jobs. And as a matter of fact, you have 65% of the Haitian population, population are young. They are young. Mm -hmm. You have youth for, from 20 to 40 years, 60% of the population. So you need to put them at, at work and also open schools for them, universities, professional schools, so they can, you know, train themselves to have a job in the future. That's why when you do that, when you do not that in the country, that's what happened for the past 10 years, we have a lot of young Haitians leaving the country to go to Chile, to go to um, Brazil, to go to Dominican Republic, or, or even in Bahamas. They are flying, leaving the country because they need to work. They need jobs. Right, you, for their families. So, let me ask yes. a question. So mm -hmm. um, 
I, I heard you earlier say that you say in 2016, I guess you did you run, run for office for Haiti? Um, yes. What do you feel like uh, happened to cause you not to uh, get elected then? Well, I was not well, you know, I should say prepared. Not the preparation for myself or for my, you know, personal um, knowledge, but this, you know, election, may, you need money to go to the election. You need help to go to the election. You need to have a good, I mean, way to um, commercialize yourself, uh, to present your, your idea, your, your, your philosophy, and your programs too. So I could not have it because we don't have the fund necessary to do that enough. Of course, we spend, okay, so we, spend a, we spend a lot of money, but not not enough to 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 win to one election. Thank you. So 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 what what? Okay, if given the opportunity, if afforded opportunity to run again, uh, what would you do different this time? And 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 I and it's a two part question. And also, uh, the gun violence you spoke about earlier is this something that you have a prepared plan to help take these guns away f off the streets? Yes, actually. Let's, let me go to the second part of the question. Actually, I'm working with a group of Haitian, young Haitian, you know, to see and to launch programs in, 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 the, in the slums. Uh, they call that bidonville in ghettos in, in, in Haiti. Okay. Uh, to, uh, to reach, outreach the, 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 the gangs and talk to them first. Ask them, call them to, you know, to give up uh, the, the weapons and, and to start doing things differently. And uh, I have sent, you know, I have aired two videos talking to them, and they replied to me. They invite me actually to come to see them in the ghettos and to talk to them. But they, they said, we have conditions before we, we hand off guns. We need jobs. We need to get you know, activities. So I'm, no, I, agree, I'm I agree with that. I, I agree yeah. with that. But don't you feel like, I don't know, because uh, a lot of times I hear people talk about, because we have an open uh, carry uh we're an open carry state here in Texas. I don't know if you're aware of that, but guns are are, are, are openly uh, carried, and and it's like the wild wild west here sometimes. <laughs> but I can say uh, um, the one thing that I fear is when we like when we talk taking uh, guns away from others, you you limit their ability to the, to protect themselves because there's going to be some that's going to be on the black market. There's going to be, and it's going to make the people even more vulnerable. And how do you how do you fix that situation for the people who are going to be left vulnerable when they illegally carry guns into Haiti. There is, an, there is actually an activity that called in Haiti, in French, I don't know the name in English, that called rehabilitation. It's, okay. a, it's the same word. You, you need to, I mean, have them taking the guns away from them and take them inside the society. You know, I mean, open school for them so they can go to school and create jobs for them or credits for them so you can put them back in the society and they will feel that they are part of the society to to work to build to rebuild haiti we need that power from the young young to to build haiti so you take them inside of the country that this is what i'm working on actually socially to see because we we, we need to save those 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 i mean people are living in the ghettos you cannot leave them at their situation you know themselves or, or send police to kill them uh, no, this is not the, the solution. The solution is, uh, uh, yes, of course, you have to use force against those who, who will resist, you know, the resist, program. Right, right. Yeah, but you need, act, you need to create programs that can attract, attract them to come to take the guns out of them and put them at work and, in, you know, at school and create jobs for them. So we are working on that. Actually, in my organization, in a social organization, I'm feeding some of them, giving them some clothes, food, and this is a first step. So in a second, in second time, I will see if it's possible for me to bring them to school and they will see they can live as a normal citizen and then they can be, I mean, you know, uh, a good citizen for Haiti, a good um, um, model for their for their kids, also right. for the for the Because I love I love what you said about um, the fact that you went down into the ghetto areas and spoke to because in and I'm gonna still say refer back to Jamaica because I, I assume Haiti is very similar to Jamaica. And very and close to it, right, right, very close. But <laughs> um, in certain areas, you always have somebody who is leading that area. Uh, and the person that 
they are really doing the things that they're doing for the best interest of their community, whatever yes. area that is. Yes. You know, they, they take their people into consideration. So the fact that you went down there to speak to them to say, hey, how can we resolve this? How can we? I love that, that you're taking that action because a lot of people would not do that. Mm -hmm. And um, the fact that they're not just being rebellious and saying that, you know what, we don't want to help you, but they're mm -hmm. saying that jobs is how we can, you know, get these people off of the streets and, and I'll give you the gun. Mm -hmm. And I think that's amazing. Um, is that each ghetto area you went to are only one or two specific areas? Because, you know, you have the different areas that sometimes they can be rivals against mm -hmm. each other. That, so. Exactly. You know the situation as Jamaica. I do. Know that. <laughs> yeah. This is the situation like, you know, there is a place well known in Haiti called Cité Soleil. This is where everything started at Cité Soleil, where the first, you know, groups, armed groups, armed gangs uh, has been, you know, you know, living and operating. So now they are spreading all over Port-au-Prince, the capital, and all over the country too, have a lot of gangs. Actually, the, la the last, I mean, last time I heard, they, they, they have counted like more than 150 gangs all over the country mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. yeah i cannot you cannot reach all of them at the same time because I, i'm not the you know the, i'm not the, at the government i'm just a citizen right, right right so right. we're trying to do saying. something honestly yeah, because peace can be accomplished it can be accomplished but it just takes the right individual speaking to them and really get saying the right things to them because with all the small islands we already know that tourism is what push a lot of these islands mm -hmm. and if people are fearful to come to these islands for their lives or for different things, then it's not going to help the country. Mm -hmm. And having to sit down with these members, um, I'm not saying the whole area, but the, the top individuals in these areas and saying, hey, the only way we can all survive here is by, you know, we helping each other. Because like Jamaica says, out of one people, we are many. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that's our motto. So I know that... Um, Everybody there would love to see the island of Haiti flourish, but it yes. takes cooperation. And it takes, so, yes, of course. And money, of course. But let me ask mm -hmm. you a question. Ha have you reached out to other islands or maybe even the U.S. or different places? Do you have a plan as in a budget to say, okay, if we get this or this is how we need help, this is what we can accomplish? That's where we can on that actually to see where we can find you know help to to do this and we need to set an example first we that's what we st we are we have started started with our own money and we go at a place and we have you know a, a group of 20 people and we talk to them we call them to you know to uh, to uh, to stop the, the, the activities and we are going to provide them some, you know, food, clothes and schools, etc. So after that, if we set that as an example, so people could see now, oh, th there is a way we can resolve this problem. So we are looking for help in Haiti first to see mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how we can, you know, manage this and, and make it happen. Exactly. That works. Yeah, that that will that definitely is something you have to be able to work with others well. Uh, bridge gaps between different countries and and mm -hmm. even America. You know, being able to communicate well is key. That's always been the key. Being mm -hmm. able to uh, not and 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 being able to, to to step outside of yourself and how you feel personally about different issues and work with others. All of this stuff counts. Um, and and that, I, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you. Uh, work with Haiti to get it to be where it needs to be, where you know it, it's a place where everybody should want to come. Uh, Americans, uh, uh, Jamaicans, uh, people from each island should want to frequent um, right. Haiti. Because I heard it's a beautiful country. I've heard so many good things about the country. Of course, of course. And uh, Haiti used to be in the past the place where tourists, you know, were, were I mean, coming every day. Right. I, I remember that, and I have read that in the books. The, uh, actually, Haiti was the pearl of the, 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 the islands. They, they call it the pearl of the islands because really? it was so beautiful. And tourists, every big name of, in the entertainment in the United States, they, they came to Haiti, you know, uh, 
Aribe La Fonte. But I don't have all the names because it's, you know, right, it's, it's really right, in the right. early, early 40 or 15, um, in 1940, 1950s. Oh, that's but a long time ago. Long time ago. But Haiti used to be that place, you know, lovely place where, you know, sun, you know, sea, sun, and, you know, whatever the rest is. So, <laughs> I would, I would say about, that. so we're talking about what Haiti needs right now. But um, we, one thing people always say, you know, never try to always talk about the negative of, of a, a country. You want to still be able to entice the people who may be listening, who would love to come and visit your island, who um, tell me about the good things about Haiti. What, um, what, what is Haiti known for um, if somebody did want to come and visit the sea? First, Haiti is the place of history in America. This is, this is the first black republic in America where, you know, a group of slaves, you know, they won a war with their hands oh, wow. against, okay. against Napoleon, <laughs> the general Napoleon, the French. So, so in, in 1804, those fathers created the first black republic in America. This is a place, I mean, historical, put an end to slavery. This is, uh, you know, history. You cannot change that from Haiti. This is Haiti. And Haiti used to be a lovely place, as I said. And still, Haiti is, you know, a beautiful place to, to, to visit. You know, once you resolve the problem of insecurity and stability, and this is a place to come, you will see the, the vestige of the independence, the vestige of the colony, the French colony, where, you know, big citadels and big monuments and historical places that you can visit in Haiti. And mm -hmm. this is a place, you, you know, where you, you, I mean, I, would, I should say Haiti is the, in the Caribbean, Haiti is, a, you know, after Jamaica, I think, you know, this is the, <laughs> not to be, <laughs> not to be, you know, but it's, it's true. I used to, to, to hear that, Jamaica and Haiti. You come to Jamaica, you cannot miss Haiti. Now, right. it's not the same thing, but I think we can, you know, uh, come back in the, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the map of tourism in, in the Caribbean. And if you create opportunities for Haiti after, you know, I mean, uh, actually you have a lot of uh, missionaries coming to Haiti to help. But what we need, we need people to invest in Haiti. And you will see this beautiful country that make history in the early 19th century. So this is a very good I mean, place where you have sun every single day of the year. You I know, know that um, you, because of the type of um, career that you've had, you can't help but love Haiti and love the people of Haiti because being a journalist, you learn so much about people. Because mm -hmm. you have to question them and you have to care about their downs and their ups and you have to feel with what they're feeling. And then mm -hmm. being a teacher, seeing the children grow from a young age coming up, you can't help but love the people who are there and want only the good for the country. So I really applaud you for all the efforts you've been trying. And you are going to try and you will succeed, I know, because I can see the, the fire in you. And let, me, you. and let me just add, um, or let me, let me just ask you a question. Um, have you worked with Wycliffe? He's one of the big Haitians that artists that come from there that love the country. Does he ever <laughs> try to reach out and do things to help the, 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 the political side of it and, and just try to try to do something in a positive way to reflect the country? Yeah, I know Wycliffe. He, he knows me too, I hope, <laughs> because he, he's famous, very, very famous in you know United States for his music and for everything. And, uh, and when I met him, I was a journalist. So mm -hmm, we worked, mm -hmm. I asked him question about his project for Haiti because he had to, he used to have some project for Haiti at Cité Soleil and uh, especially. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, no, I don't have any, you know, I have his phone number. Maybe it is okay. a, it's a, it's a good idea to call him and to say, hey, what can we do together? Uh, you know, exactly, it's possible. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, because he, yeah. he always promotes Haiti and I know he loves this country. Mm -hmm. Because even a lot of people being here in the um, United States, you still have, because I'm 
from Jamaica, but yes, I'm here in the United States, but I love my country. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I would love to do anything to help my country. And I'm sure mm -hmm. he would do the same. And not only him, yes, because he is a celebrity. So a lot of eyes are on him. So it could get the word out there to the masses a lot more. But even the smaller people who are just regular people working, who are living here, who are from Haiti, would probably love to help and give back because they know mm -hmm. probably what Haiti used to be and what it is right now. And don't like it. You know what so, I mean? Yeah, I'm sorry. This. So definitely I'm, I'm, I'm going to call Wycliffe. I, I can call him and, and, and have a talk and conversation with him to see what we can do together. Because I know in the past he, he, he tried. He, he tried to do something at Cité Soleil. He, he was a program. He launched a program at Cité Soleil. So I think it's, it's, it's a good idea to, to work with him and to, to all the Haitian celebrities are, who are living in the United States. Uh, right, because because we, need, takes, we need them. Yeah. It takes many of us coming together to, to, to abolish things like this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yes. I know you can't do it by yourself. Even when you have that fire and passion, you have to come together with others to be able to make it work. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We, we so need you do have something that. set in place to touch other people here in the States as well? I'm just, I'm just trying that now because okay. to, to, have this, to have this conversation with you is a, you know, it's a very good thing for me. So people will know what we're doing, what, it, what, right. what we intend to do, and they can bring to us, you know, come to us, and I can come to them too and you know, try together to, to, to do something. And, and I can tell you, I know the Haitian diaspora that are living here in the United States, they are suffering. They want to go back to Haiti. They want to go back to live the last days in Haiti. They want to go back to invest also in Haiti. They want to go exactly. back to, to get involved in politics in Haiti. But with this situation, actually, they cannot go. So they, that exactly. will take them, you know, to, to join hands together, to do something and to create the atmosphere that can, I mean, attract them back to Haiti. I, you know, it's, it's, it's important. I totally to understand because I get where you're coming from because Growing up, I know that a lot of times we always say, you know, we'll come here to the States and work and build a family. But retirement, mm -hmm. people always think about going back to their home to the country co absolutely. and, you know, buy a house and relax. Because you don't even have the, the beach, the food, the company. It's, it's, I've met so many people here who um, live here who, who say, how can you leave that island? Just like people say to Haitians, how can you leave a beautiful island to come here? Mm -hmm. But in our minds, we're always like, we're going to go back home. We're going to go back home because that is home wherever you're from. But it has to be a place where we feel comfortable to come back home and feel safe to come back home. Mm. So Actually, to, as, to, yeah, today, I'm, I, yeah, today I, I met a, a guy who, uh, I mean, he's working in Haitian. He's working at an hotel and he said, yeah, what, what, what are we going to do? Because I want to come with my family to Haiti. I want to go back to Haiti with my family. So this is the situation that you are facing here when you're meeting Haitian, you know, living in the United States or mm -hmm. even in Europe or, or elsewhere. They, want, they are dreaming of that to mm -hmm, find mm -hmm. the right occasion to come back, to invest, to, I mean, to, to invest in the social activities too, and to get involved in, I mean, commercial activities or political activities too. But they still want to come back to live, you know, right, in their right, country, right. to come back. This is their dream. They need to build a house there in Haiti and to live their, their life. But, you know... I have you one more to... question for you. Yes? How important is transparency? for you hmm. um, to the people who are watching. Because for me, who, when I look at politicians or anybody in power or anybody who hoping to get to power, I, would, I always say, you know, I look for the person who is totally brutally honest, even if it's something that I may not like. But, and I know that politics are sort of, you know, have it, what should I say? No matter how much you go in with an open heart, certain things you just can't get done, even although you try your hardest, because it doesn't take just you, it takes everybody agreeing on things. But how important is transparency to you? To be honest with you, uh, transparency, I mean, actually in Haiti is the biggest problem. And that the government, the past government, you know, they didn't care about, you know, being transparent to see. Right. If I help you, what do you do? What did you do with the money? I need mm -hmm. to know. And in, even for Haitian living in Haiti, it's a big problem too, because when you are contributing to, you know, paying your tax, 
then I mean doing whatever you can do to help government to to I mean to build roads to put power you need to see that but you cannot do that to enrich people politicians yeah. you need to be transparent but now this is a there is a lot of lack of transparency in Haiti so you need to bring confidence back to Haitians to Haitians living abroad the, in the diaspora and to I mean the government you know the bilateral I mean cooperation you need to be transparent so this is a real fight in Haiti and I cannot lie to you saying that everything is okay in Haiti with, with, regarding transparency no it's not if you go in the website you put Haiti transparency you will see the score of it it's a very poor score of transparency see? so you need to work on it so, and let me tell you that the young i'm not a young guy man i mean because i'm i'm not i mean you know being in politics for a long time so i said i'm a young politician so we we know that uh, we need to work very hardly and honestly to bring mm -hmm. transparency in our activities so people can trust us can come to us can help and they will see you know what we are doing with their money with their help you understand what i mean so this is a real big problem and we need to i mean to to reset the mind of the haitian you know i mean authorities to know that transparency is a rule of democracy and this is something that you have to you have to be practicing right now and showing because it's easy mouth work is really easy for people to say anything but actually mm -hmm. people are watching and seeing how you're moving and your everyday activities to see if this is something that you will continue to do as time go along yeah and i would add that being transparent is you need to be transparent in your own life first exactly so people exactly. know you you are a, i mean like an open book you can read me you know me you know my you know my i mean I mean, trajectoire, I don't know how to say it in English, but you know yeah, I where know I... Yeah, I know understand what I mean. So being transparent is that first. You need to be transparent with yourself. You know who you are, what you're doing, and people need to know everything about you. And then when you are in the place to, you know, to lead the country, you will show the same thing, being transparent. Exactly. Well, we appreciate you. We appreciate you for c coming on Boss Talk 101. Um, we definitely going to be watching your moves. Um, Thank you. Definitely, if we and you're in Florida right now, but you, when are you going back to Haiti? I hope when, coming back on Sunday because my son, I have to take my son back to school on Sunday. He has <laughs> in uh, Easter break now. He here with me, but they, on Monday, next Monday, we he, he will go back to school in in Port au Prince, Haiti. But you so have will, all I, boys, no girls. Uh, how do you know that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because you mentioned boys. Because we own the journalist. Oh, I, I didn't. I, I, <laughs> yeah, because you journalist, you you go you go in the internet and you know everything about me. I have three boys. Yeah, we have to do our research. Only. But we we appreciate you for coming on the show. Oh, I um, really appreciate you invite me. It's okay, a great and we'll be looking out for you, man. Thank you so much, man. We'll thank you very much. Every step to make sure, to see your progress now. Okay? Thank, thank you, and thank you. How we can help? Let, let us know. know. Thank you very much. Thank you. And All I'll right, be transparent. Okay. And I'll yeah, be transparent. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you yeah, so thank much. you. Talk Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye.